Okay friends, Assalamu Alaikum. This video is about uh, posting periods, posting periods in SAP financials. So you would probably know that uh, usually, usually there are 12 posting periods corresponding to 12 months. And uh, for every month, there is a numeric number, which is uh, the posting period number for that particular fiscal year. So for a calendar year company, the company whose financial year starts in January and ends in December, Posting period 1 means January and posting period 7 means July and 12 means December. But for a company that uh, has the financial year July to June, posting period 1 corresponds to July and posting period say 11 corresponds to May and posting period 12 corresponds to June. So these are the normal posting periods which are 1 to 12. Then SAP financials deliver some special posting periods which are 13, 14, 15 and 16 maximum 4 special posting periods. So these are known as a special posting periods because these are reserved for year-end processing, for year-end closing and adjusting entries. So usually SAP suggests that the normal monthly transactions be entered in every posting period, every normal posting period, and then the year-end adjusting entries in different batches have to be entered, should be entered in a special posting period, although they can be entered in posting period number 12, but entering the year-end uh, adjusting entries in posting period 12 would actually make posting period 12 incompatible with the rest of the 11 posting periods. So if all the adjusting entries, year-end closing entries, year-end adjusting entries and provisions are actually entered in the month of 12, in the posting period 12, then we cannot compare the income, the performance of posting period 12 with posting period 11 or 10 or 9 because 12 now contains many entries which are actually purposed for the whole year, not for a particular posting month 12. So that's why usually it is more advisable to enter these year-end adjusting entries, year-end provisions, correction of errors type of things into posting, special posting period 13, 14, 15, and 16. So why there are four special posting periods? Because sometimes we have to enter the adjusting entry in batches. So sometimes we enter all the first set of adjusting entries which are advised by our CEO or CFO in posting period 13. And remember the corresponding date for posting period 13 is the last day of the financial year. So say if it is July to June then posting period 13 corresponds to 30th June. Similarly if uh, uh, after entering all the adjusting entries in the normal way advised by the CEO or CFO if uh, the board of directors reviews the accounts and these just as some more provisions, then those more provisions then shall be entered, should be entered in posting period number 14. So that we have a very, very firm control of adjusting entries rather than entering all the entries on 30th June, some entries entered on one day, some on another day, some entries entered in the morning, some entries entered in the evening. We don't have any control that the financial statements that are printed uh, are actually covering all the all adjusting entries. So in order to control it, what we do is we enter all the adjusting entries in a special posting period first, which is 13, then we lock it. Then if there is another set of adjusting posting period, adjusting entries, provisions, correction of errors, we enter them in posting period number 14, and then we lock it. So that whenever we print the financial statements, we print them by posting period. So if we say it's a system that print the financial statements from period number one to period number 13, it means the system will include all the adjusting entries which are uh, posted by special period 13 and so on, 14, 15, 16. So sometimes auditors do come up with some entries or provisions which can be then entered in the last posting period, a special posting period, which is 15 or 16. So in nutshell, uh, if uh, it's a July to June financial year, then posting period one corresponds to 1st July to 31st July. Posting period 2 corresponds to 1st August to 31st August. So these are the posting date and so on. And posting period 11 corresponds to 1st May to 31st May. And posting period 12 corresponds to 1st June and 30th June. But posting period 13 corresponds to 30th June. Posting period 14 corresponds to 30th June. So these all are one day, usually, usually one day posting periods. And the day is same as the end of the financial year. So you can note that uh, the 30th June then falls in five posting periods, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. One is the normal and four are special. So usually whenever we make an accounting entry, we just enter the posting date and system determines the posting period automatically. 
but uh, entry is if if entry is posted on 30th june then it is difficult for the system to actually decide which posting period it belongs to so usually if you enter any entry in the last day of the financial year the system selects the posting period 12 but if you want to post it in posting period 13 because 13 is also a corresponding period to the last day of the financial year maybe 30 june then we have to manually enter the posting period 13 in the handler of the document so uh, let's see what scp helps for talks about it so special posting periods that subdivide the last regular posting period for closing operations regardless of how you have defined your fiscal year you can always use a special periods Special periods subdivide the year and closing periods. So four special periods means these are all four periods for the year and closing activities. Therefore, merely divide the last posting period into several closing periods. This enables us to create several supplementary financial statements. So why we say it's supplementary financial statements? Because a set of financial statements can be printed up to posting period number 12. Then another set of financial statements can be created up to posting period number, say, 13 and then 1 to 14 so it will account for all the entries posted in that particular posting periods so we can define up to four special periods but it's not necessary that we use all the four special periods sometimes the companies just use one special posting period and sometimes companies post all the adjusting entries in the last normal posting period and don't use uh, a special posting periods altogether so when posting to special periods you must take the following into consideration number one the posting date must fall within the last regular posting period so it usually is the last day of the financial year and number two we have to enter the special periods in the document header in the period field as i just mentioned that since the last day of the financial year also falls in posting period number 12 and 13 14 15 and 16 all five so we need to tell the system which special posting period we want to use so that was about a posting period. Hope uh, it uh, will help in understanding the concept. Thank you.